that look like as a homemaker, as a mother, as a wife? Today, I'm going to share some inspiration for you in this season of life that I am in, being pregnant, being a younger mom, being a wife, and just freshening up for more of the spring season. This is also a collab with Nikki over at Inspired by Nikki, and I am going to let her share a little bit about her and her channel. Hello, my name is Nikki, and I would love it if you would join me over on my channel, Inspired by Nikki. Today I'm going to be covering a couple of additional ways that you can love your home in every season. And with the many topics that I share on my channel regarding homemaking and just the love of yourself and those within your life, I really have this overarching theme of making the everyday beautiful. So if that's of interest to you, I hope that you will come join me and I look forward to seeing you there. I absolutely love changing out decor for every season. I did leave up some winter decor with some greenery and lights pretty much all the way up through here. It's mid-February just because it's been so cold and dreary and just that coziness of the lights and the greenery just helps warm up a space in the home. But a fresh start with a clear top on a piano per se and a clean slate in a front porch is always a way to view your home as a way to now love it and cherish it and nourish your home and I love putting new decor out. I am a big thrifter for those who don't know. I find most of my decor secondhand and so just being able to add some of those fun um, touches of other people's stuff that have stories too is what I truly love. And I did leave up a small winter tree as well and I just love the way it looks after it's down. It's such a huge open space now and I did end up putting my daughter's toys over there instead of they're actually on the other side of our chest that our TV sits on and that's just such a way to refresh the space and make it feel more open and so I just love um, rearranging and moving things around that you already have in your home and here um, I'm going to be spending some time airing out my cushions and some of my rugs because they get stale smelling to me and it was just time to let them get some sunshine and some cool cold winter air and i literally did end up taking them outside i think the way that we can love our home in every season is by doing what we find important in our home with the things that we have in our home. I value the people, of course, the most, but taking care of our um, furniture, our rugs, our just our home and decor in general, even if it is secondhand and well-loved, that, that just shows that we really value our home and our homemaking and our family truly because if we don't take care of i've said this before if we don't take care of ourselves we can't take care of our family and we can't take care of our stuff and so i really just i think it's important to have your home feeling um, loved and welcoming and cozy in a way that you truly value One way in the winter months that I really try to love my home in that season is with fresh flowers. And I'll continue this all throughout the year because I am a gardener, so I get fresh cut flowers from my garden in the summer months as well. But right now in the winter, transitioning into spring, I just buy a bouquet of flowers from Walmart or Aldi on a week or week and a half basis until, you know, they are no longer living and just use them as a way to display some natural beauty in the kitchen on the table and I just love looking at that every day and seeing God's beauty in just these simple 
a cheaper bouquet of flowers just on my table in a thrifted vase or pitcher. I also can't forget to love my home with some fresh herbs. This is time of year where I get the itch to go out and start gardening. And so I just got some fresh rosemary and repotted it in a terracotta planter and just have those on my windowsill to add that life and love of new growth in my home. Faux greens can also be a way to love your home in a new season. I'm not one at this point with it still being February who could get fresh greens to decorate with. So just putting some faux greenery around my house, changing out the decor like I talked about and spending a little time um, looking at what I want it to look like is a way I can practice loving my home and um, making it a new space for a new season and that's different for everybody in every stage of life I think part of it is I want to do a lot of this now during my second trimester I'm only a couple weeks away from my third trimester and I know I'm gonna get more tired so I want to get some more of these bigger tasks done now before before baby comes and before I'm out in the garden when the weather maybe changes for us here in the Midwest. And so I just want to really love my home right now in the season of life that I am in. As you can see, another way you can freshen up your furniture is with baking soda. Just let it sit for about 10 minutes and then vacuum it off. If you don't have space to put your cushions outside like I did, then that's just a simple, quick way to make them smell a little fresher and a little cleaner and a little less stinky and stale. Life, one thing I've had to really work on is asking for help. I like to do things on my own, but if my husband's willing to take the rug out from under our bed so I can air it out outside, I am going to take that. And loving your home sometimes requires asking for help. And like I said, that's a challenge for me because I like to do things independently sometimes, but it is okay to get children, spouses, a friend, um, just other people to help you in taking care of maybe the bigger projects of your home. And so I just think it's good to also teach your kids um, to take care of your home and love it. And by practicing that, that's a way we can do that. So I get to just air out my rug over my deck railing, enjoy some company from my dog, Maggie. Um, just kind of pat it out. This one wasn't super dirty, but it hadn't been really taken out from under our bed in probably a year or two. So just time to get it aired out fresh, get some sunlight on it as well. Loving my home sometimes requires getting on my hands and knees and getting the nitty gritty. The under the bed is always a place that, you know, dust just seems to grow. But I think when we take care of those hidden areas, your, your mindset feels great knowing I just did that. And even the open areas, like a routine mopping of cleaning the floor two to three times a week, it's just enjoyable to me to know I'm taking care of my home. I'm loving my home in this season of life, in every season of life, to serve my family in this way.
a final shake of a couple of my little doormats and my cleaning for the last few days is done and yes my husband did dress my daughter just funny today and I just thought you would enjoy seeing that so I hope you feel like you can love your home in every season and that you feel inspired as a homemaker today